So nuclear fission can be used um, very, very destructively, but it can also be used productively to generate electricity. And that's what's going on in nuclear reactors. Um, nuclear reactors are much more efficient. So a pencil-sized cylinder of uranium could power a typical car for 20 years. Um, a coal-burning plant would use 2 million kilograms of fuel to generate the same power as 5 kilograms of fuel in a nuclear plant. Um, the basic idea is you have your uranium-235, and it has to be in a containment system, of course. And so this is going to release all this energy as heat. And the heat is used to heat water and form steam, and the steam turns turbines that generate electricity. That's how you turn the nuclear decay or the nuclear fission process into electrical energy. Well, we don't want this to get away from us, um, and so we have control rods that will absorb the neutrons, and so they can lower the control rods into the uranium and slow the reaction down, or they can lift them up and take them out and allow it to speed up. So, of course, there's drawbacks like nuclear accidents and waste disposal. Um, nuclear fusion is the opposite. Instead of breaking an atom, we're combining two into a heavier, heavier one. And this generates a lot more um, energy than fission does. This is the, the source of the energy in the sun. It is fusion of smaller elements into larger ones. And this is the basis of the hydrogen bomb, which is much more um, destructive than an atomic bomb. So why can't we use this to make energy? Well, it would be really great. The problem is containing the stupid thing. Um, there's nothing that can contain it, no physical substance. Um, so this is the sort of thing they're trying. They're trying to use magnetic fields to contain it. Um, but this is just you know, still in the, in the experimental stage. Mm -hmm. What is plasma? That's an awesome question. Um, I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. Um, acute radiation damage, of course, is very bad. Um, but you can also have lower, lower doses of radiation over time. It increases your risk of cancer because it causes defects um, in your tissue as, by damaging your DNA. Um, there are different units used to measure radiation. It's not as simple as measuring mass. Um, and this is kind of interesting. Um, radon is our biggest uh, exposure. Medical sources, um, consumer products here. And this green portion, almost a quarter of it, is uh, just cosmic from cosmic rays coming through the atmosphere and stuff from the ground. You can read that. Um, it's useful in medicine to take pictures of your insides. It's also used, oops, it can also be used to, um, to remove cancer cells, uh, things like the gamma knife. Okay, that's enough. I'm done.